All right, welcome back. Uh, so in the last tutorial there, we showed you a, a quick way to get in there and kind of change your colors around so that you can personalize um, the theme of your charts. Uh, and that way, of course, you know, you can either uh, do it for what you enjoy looking at or if you want to make sure that people know you, uh, you can do that. Uh, and of course, we showed you then how to uh, work with indicators uh, as far as saving them uh, to a template. So that way you can easily pull them in and change, you know, and have your color theme. And so anytime you open a new chart, you're able to have your color theme and your templates within two seconds, uh, which just makes life so much easier. Uh, so today we're going to uh, talk about a few other things that you can do here. Now, it depends on uh, which level of uh, trading view access that you purchase. Uh, so if you purchase pro or premium or something, uh, you know, you're going to have more access to some of these things than others. Uh, but the first thing we're going to look up here is the layout. This is the select layout button. And when you click on that, you'll notice you can have multiple charts on there. So you have two different ways you can look at two charts at the same time. You have six different ways you can look at three or four charts. And then two different ways you can look at five, six, or eight charts. And again, whichever of these you have access to depends, you, uh, depends on uh, whether you're buying the uh, pro or the premium level of, um, uh, or the uh, regular level there of access for TradingView. Uh, but let's just say, you know, you go up here and you want to have look at two charts. So you click on, uh, you know, either side by side or one above the other. So you can hit it here, one above the other, and there it comes. And so what it'll do is bring up two different charts. Uh, in this case, it's just got the S&P up here. But let's say you wanted to compare what was going on with uh, Bitcoin with what's going on with the S&P. And so you've got the daily set for both of them. And uh, as long as you kind of get the, the timing in there right on here, uh, you know, you can, you can kind of get this together here. For instance, uh, you know, you look at 2019 right here. So if you bring that up there uh, just a bit, yeah, that's more or less this kind of area here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so you can kind of see that they both kind of hit their lows here, Bitcoin and um, the S&P here in December of 2018. And then they both kind of continued up. Uh, and so, the, you know, this is a great way to have multiple charts going on there. Um, or you can even use it uh, if you want to look at a different time frame from the same chart. So let's say you want to look at the uh, daily on this. And then you want to look at the weekly on um, on the BLX here, on the Bitcoin um, liquidation index there, or liquid index, sorry, liquid index. Uh, it's the Brave New Coin Liquid Index. There we go, BLX, I got it. Uh, so what you would do is now, in order to change this chart here, you have to click on it so that it highlights here. And then you go up here, notice at the top here it says SPX. And of course, you'll type in your BLX. Make sure that if you're looking for Brave New Coin, you're getting that one and you're not getting... Uh, Borelex Incorporated, or uh, you know uh, all these other potential things here, uh, but we put it in that. There we go. Now we've got the same one here. And again, from the last time, you can go down here and uh, add in your color theme, and then of course uh, you know your indicators here are different. Uh, so maybe you enter in your indicators there. Now you got the same thing. Now some people they'll use different indicators for different time frames. So you know right now this is both the same chart here. Let's say the bottom here we change that to the weekly. So you go down here and change it to your weekly. And now you have, you know, you've got your weekly look and you've got your daily look. And uh, what this allows you to do, again, is if you use different um, uh, indicators for your one time frame versus another, you know, again, you can save that template, in, um, that indicator template up here and you would just apply it to whichever one you wanted to apply it to. In this case, we're using the same one for both. Uh, but that allows you to then, you know, and depending on how many charts you have, it allows you to look at multiple charts on there. If you just want to look at one of those charts, let's say you have two or four or whatever, click on the chart that you want to look at so that it highlights the blue line around it there. And then go down here where it says this toggle maximize chart and click that. And now it brings you to just that one chart. If you click it again, it'll bring you to however many charts you have up there. So again, whether it's two or four or whatnot, it'll let you change it on there. Now, as you saw there, this right here is your uh, your time your time here. And again, depending on how much uh, or which level of service you pay for, you're going to have some time more available than others. Now, for the BLX, for the the Brave New Coin Liquid Index, it only goes to the daily. So no matter what time frame or what uh, level of package um, that you purchase from TradingView, you're only going to be able to get the daily on this. But again, if we went to the uh, SPX, which is that S&P 500. 
and we pulled that in there and you went up here, notice we have all the same. Now, I happen to have the, the premium service on there, so I can actually get down uh, into the seconds here as well, which is just absolutely ludicrous, but whatever, it's there. <laughs> but this is how you change your time. Now, uh, if you're able to change it as well, you can add it in there, depending, again, on your level of package that you have. So let's say you weren't content with this. Let's say, uh, as you notice, I've got some extra ones in here. I've got the 16-hour, 18-hour, 13-hour. Let's say you wanted a, you know, right here is your time. Let's say you wanted, for whatever reason, 36-minute chart. So you would go down here to at the very bottom. You type in 36. It's already got minutes set. You want to charge it whatever it is there. Click Add. Whoops. Uh, let me click minutes and then click add. And like I said, right here, 36 minutes now is there on the SPX. Available for all. By the way, if you hit this little X right here, you might see it kind of show up a little bit. It says remove. You can do that. If, As always, each one of these has their little stars here. So let's say you usually use the one hour, uh, the four hour, the 15 minute, um, the daily three-day and the weekly notice that they all come up here now makes for quick access easy to get up there and click on them so there that's how you get your uh, daily in there and of course uh, your other ways now your candles let's say your candles here if you go up over here this um, notice right here so you have your you have whatever asset is that you're looking at or your security or whatever right here you have your time, and then right next to that is your candles now. And it gives you different ways you can look at your candles. Again, it will depend on which level you have. Uh, you will not have all these uh, point and figure and line break and stuff like that if you if you don't have, say, premium on there. But you can look at these here. And so, you know, another way, we talked last time uh, about the fact that you're changing your colors, your candle colors from red and green to black and white is going to help you psychologically. Well, so is using bars instead of candles. Now, the bars automatically come out with the red and green. And so, again, you, <laughs> you want to go in there if you're looking to do that. You want to go in there and change them. So your down uh, would maybe be black and your up would maybe be white. Um, and, uh, you know, again, you're, then you'd have to obviously change, you know, your background color here. So, of course, you can go here to your background. Um, whoo, that's a bright yellow, right? <laughs> but again, you can change it to whatever uh, whatever it is that you're interested in looking at uh, as far as a color background goes. Uh, lots of different ways to look at this, but you just want to make sure that your candles show up well with whatever you're doing. Um, so right here, you notice your black and white show up really well with this kind of grayish color here. So we can use that. And as far as these particular candles go, what you're going to want to see here is that... Uh, your left side of the candle, if it's a bar candle like this, your left side is where it opens. This this bottom part is how low it goes. The top part is the high. And this uh, notch over here to the right side of the, of the bar is where it uh, closed. So you've got your open, your low, your high, and your close. Your open, your low, your high, and your close. Uh, you know, again, if you look over here, your open's up here at the top. It went higher there, came all the way back down, then closed up over here. So that's just another way to use it. You know, there's your um, your bars. Of course, you have your candles, your handle candle, uh, ha hollow candles. If you use hike and a she, here you go with those candles as well. Uh, you know, again, it changes them depending on which one you want to do there. If you want to use area, uh, as you often see on, on some of the more uh, CNBC likes to use them on their stuff sometimes. Uh, and this just basically gives you a line going by where the uh, the tops of the candles are there as it goes. And it gives you this area. So it just kind of shows you overall movement. As you can see here, price has risen, you know, on this 36-minute time frame here consistently uh, from that period there. Uh, let me see here. And so let's see. So we did uh, that, that and that. I think that should do you for this uh, particular episode right here because it only gives you about 10 minutes on these. Uh, so we'll come back next time and we'll start talking about some of these indicators over here to the left-hand side.